let's see how much of this I can get through before this come back on because I'm kind of delayed. So uh, you have uh, Holly and I think it's I think her name is Jess. I I wrote I wrote her name down. No, Sam. It's Sam. I wrote her name down. All types of fucking crazy. Um, but uh, you know, Holly was married. No, not Holly. Uh, Sam was married to a man back when they were dating. Um, way back when she had she has two kids. But uh, currently at the moment, um, you know, <clears throat> there's no obstacles between them. So Holly wants to get back. Joe, he's working on his fitness brand. He admits radius went left, but he wants to be behind the scenes and not necessarily in front of the scenes. Lena, she's uh, at her radius doing her dance cardio session. I must admit she was awesome, man. You know, she warmed up and, you know, did her damn thing. I got to give it to her. Courtney is with his uh, sister. Now, is he mentioned that neither he nor his mother have apologized to each other, and ultimately, that's what both of them want. And it's one of those where <clears throat> they're pretty much they are each other. I see that they are exactly alike, and he's concerned that he's not going to have anybody to like help him out or whatever. And his sister's like, I can help you, mom can because she doesn't have her children, and you know, with the conditions that you gave her. Mom is old. We're not going to sit here and teach an uh, old dog new tricks. Just show her respect and apologize. Now, <clears throat> I somewhat understand that, but I'm going to be honest. I'm not here for just swallowing the pride and letting telling someone that they're right, even though they're not right, just to satisfy. Personally, that is not me. I can apologize for some shit, but I'm not going to sit here and make it seem like I was completely wrong. That ain't me. <clears throat> Okay, we really don't have much going on right now. So Mama Love and Layla, they're rehashing the whole investor thing. But uh, Mama Love is very concerned about um, Jay's insecurity. And I honestly don't know why. So if y'all can kind of like, I guess maybe like let me know down in the uh, comment section why that is. Because it's probably something that I'm overlooking or maybe I'm just tired as fuck. I don't know. Um, Holly and uh, Lena, they're talking about just the struggle Holly, um, <clears throat> when she first started doing fitness, all she had was a mattress on the floor for like three months with one client, but then came the next, the next, the next, and that just pushed her to keep pushing on and even um, use that as almost like, I guess we could say a segue to pretty much tell Lynn that, you know, the vehicle that she had is probably going to be best to sell that if she's trying to get to where she needs to get to, but in time, she will make what she needs to get a bigger and better vehicle. So I was feeling that, and who the fuck did we just? I, oh shit, we just got done watching somebody, and because I didn't write their names down, that is bad. Okay, well maybe they weren't important. So um, I will say, you know, if I didn't say already, you know, uh, Mama Love and Jay, I think I probably did say it. they, you know, uh, have you know been you know retweeting some of my tweets, um, and I actually um, I was a little starstruck, so you know I actually. Uh, put on Instagram and it's linked to my Twitter the fact that they actually uh, retweeted and liked one of my um, uh, Posts and both of them literally just within like the last five to ten minutes Retweeted and like that. So I'm just like yay But I'm hoping that they're watching the videos. Okay, and if y'all are again as I've said I don't see it for Layla and Courtney, but I can only be honest and I can only give everybody the just dues and that's who uh, Okay, it wasn't Layla. um Pretty much Joe and I know we're working with their respective clients and pretty much just saying how if you're confident in yourself, you will never be threatened by another trainer because there's so many different people out there, many clients and fitnesses on the rise where, you know, there's different personalities. Where if somebody wanted to train with me, one person might like me, the other person might be like, okay, I don't like his attitude, so I don't want to be trained by him. It's all about preference. That's it. So the season finale is next week, so... That's cool, because I, I can't be reviewing three shows in one night. Hell, I'm going to try to get stabbed better tomorrow. I'm just saying, it's, it's again, it's too merch. And all three shows are out, too merch. It's an hour. But Holly and Sam, um, Holly pretty much says that given the situation, she did not want to, um, she didn't want to pull Sam away from her marriage. Like, her whole thing is, if, uh, kind of move this a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> If Sam wanted to, I guess, move on, like move things along with her, she wanted her to do it on her free will, but she didn't want to be 
the reason for the divide and the uh, I guess destruction of uh, the marriage and I can I can truly respect that I mean I got a side eye her a little bit but I, I respect that and you know they're in different places right now from where they used to be so far ago but they still love each other so I don't know might be love so it's Thanksgiving uh, with Mama Love and um, Mama Love is encouraging Courtney because okay so you have Mama Love her husband uh, if I'm not mistaken, Layla's sister, Layla, uh, Courtney comes in and uh, Mama Love is encouraging, encouraging him to call his mother and just kind of patch things up, especially the fact that it's Thanksgiving. We not going to talk about origins of Thanksgiving, but it's Thanksgiving, the time to, you know, be happy with family and everything. So patch that up. And the I, I guess we could say the man of the hour is late. <clears throat> so Jay is not there. Jay rolls in late. Uh, Mama Love gives her toast and she gets very, very choked up, which was nice to see. And then, you know, Mama Love asks Jay, you know, what is he thankful for? And he says, this lady right here. Now, bro, you should have stopped the fuck there because, you know, he started talking about how, um, you know, he, um, he like, okay, she's helped him to appreciate family. That's good. He could have stopped that too. But then he started going into not trusting his family, what they put him through. In addition to that, how his only friend is his dog because his dog understands him, which I'm like, bro, I get your honesty, but why the fuck are you saying this right now? <sighs> okay. Anyway. Um, but uh, Jay does say that he had, because Jay's sensitivity comes up, and he does have sensitivity issues, but at the same exact time, I mean, Layla is hyper, you know, you know sex and... I can't even get my thoughts up, but y'all know what the fuck I mean. And I'll be honest, I can't be with a motherfucker like that. Like, naturally, I'm a flirt. I am. So, if my girl cannot deal with that, even though I don't mean shit by it, you know, it is what it is. And I can say the same thing for Layla, but at the same exact time, I, I can't deal with you sitting here humping, thrusting, doing all this other shit. I can't do it. And Holly and Courtney, uh, Courtney is over there. He calls his mom. He apologizes, and pretty much it is what it is. And since I have a free minute, if I didn't already say that I'm a Scentsy man, yes, I, I do. I am a Scentsy consultant. So if you guys want to get y'all some smell goods, diffusers, all that good stuff, there's stuff for men and women. I I have a link down below to my online party that is going on until the 23rd of February. So please go support your boy, all right? So I'll throw that out there. All right, y'all, we are almost at the end, and we're about to see fucking Courtney lose his motherfucking mind. Probably going to be the highlight of my fucking night. I think between the three fucking shows that I review, I think this is probably going to be just that thing that's going to give me all the life that I need, and I'm prop. <clears throat> I, I, I need to go ahead and prepare the eulogy, because I, I might have to bury him, but I'm hoping I don't have to, because it's too damn late at night for me to be doing this shit. But they're at a poll class. Courtney shows Lena the text messages, apparently, of uh, Joe supposedly stealing his client. So, uh, supposedly, the number that they have is Joe. So, if I'm not mistaken, Courtney's client, I guess, sent him, or I would assume, screenshot the text messages or something of that nature to him. Seems a little fishy. Now, Joe isn't there because Joe is on a date. Joe doing him, again, y'all got to catch it. Joe not with these motherfuckers. Joe is doing his own damn thing, and he is milking this for everything it's worth. All I'm going to say is push through, bitch. So, Courtney <clears throat> is uh, in a fucking Speedo. All right. Noah is spectating with Lindsay. Lindsay, I think she's still uh, not trying to overwork herself because, you know, she was injured. Uh, Lena worked it. Holly, I'm just going to say she needs to stick with fitness. And, uh, she didn't have the elegance needed. Uh, Courtney shows the texts and he more or less shows it to Lindsay and Noah because he wants to convince them. Holly automatically sides with Courtney after reading the text messages. And Courtney is completely turned. My whole thing is, <clears throat> okay, yes, there are these text messages. Anybody can screenshot anything. At the same exact time, it's totally different because what I would do is go to this client and be like, let me see your phone. Let me look at this supposed Joe and let me see that number compared to the number that I have on Joe 1. And then if they check out, approach Joe. But not approach him unless I have all my ducks in a row and not let my emotions get the best of me. And the fact that he's about to sit here and snap on Lindsay, I don't know if I'm quite ready for because all I'm going to say is this. <clears throat> 
I want to see if Noah go say something, but at the same exact time, I can guarantee a fucking damn to you. Courtney know who the fuck to pull it with. And he ain't finna pull it with somebody that got a dick between his legs. <laughs> Let me get through this, because uh, we gonna have to talk about mm, the finale. Before the finale. Mm. Mm. So Noah is in defense of Joe, which I saw that coming. All right, they have a bromance. It is what the fuck it is. Lena says, you know what? Just talk to Joe. But she did also say that. But she did also say that, um, you know, if this is what he did, if this proves to be true, it's fucked up. But of course, she's going to be on the side of her mentor. Lindsay doesn't want to be in the middle, you know, as she feels that she is. And he's in the snapper. Okay, I need to hurry. Let me finish it because I need to hit James up right quick. Uh, Courtney feels that because he is friends with um, Lindsay and they've been friends for three years, that automatically she should just believe whatever the fuck, you know, is, he's, is coming out of his mouth. And, you know, here's the thing. He ain't come for Noah. Like I said, he did not fucking come for Noah because, again, Noah got the same thing sweet between his motherfucking legs, and and and, and I'm a, and I know y'all gonna see, I know y'all saw the previews, but I'm gonna get to that shit too. And then Lindsay is in tears, and she says, "I think it's a fake text," and that's all that it took for <clears throat> Courtney to get to the point where he is like hyper. His hand is this close from her face, but he is so enraged. I fear that he was going to put his hands on her. That was a little too close for cover for me. And then how the fuck you slam the doors at somebody else's damn establishment? The fuck we do that at? And then when he approaches Joe, you don't approach Joe. Now, I can, I understand why he approached Joe in front of the crowd. We're, we're foreshadowing next week. I understand why he did. Because one of those words just like, I want everybody to see what it is that you are and who it is that you are. But at the same exact time, <clears throat> putting somebody on stage like that, it's one of those where it's either flight or fright. Meaning they gonna fly out and they gonna come on and attack your ass and they go coward. Or they could just be that motherfucker and just think who come collected, which is what Joe is giving. And, you know, it's like he's going to fuck off, almost like not giving him a chance to talk. And then he throws water on him. Can anybody say bitch move? But he did that because at the same exact time, he thinks that Joe is gay. So I guess it's that whole thing of, oh, I can sit here and punk him. Because you see he ain't trying to pull his shit with Noah. I told y'all I never fucking saw it for Courtney. And, and I swear, when it's those moments that I'm like, you know what? I can give this motherfucker a chance. He does something. He just like Horsha Williams off of motherfucking The Real Households of Atlanta where, like, there are... Now... He, there are times where it's like, you know what? Okay, you 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 didn't want me over a little bit, and then you do some shit to send me two blocks back. I can't. So that's all I have for workout New York. Y'all, let me know how y'all felt about it. Okay, also check out Cincy. Please check it out. <laughs> but uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I will see you guys next week. Thank y'all. If y'all watched all three videos, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.